everybody. Hi. Happy Friday. I'm Carol Libby Gray. I'm at Rich Louisiana. Doing a pour over today. I'm on Tiger Town. Okay, this canvas had everything possibly that could go wrong on it. It cracked. It was too thick. It, it dried outside on the back porch in high humidity. So it looks kind of like alligator skin. I'm sure y'all have all had some that's happened like that before. Oh, no fret. No fretting. Just pour over. That's what I'm doing. Okay. I have free, no copyright music. Rock Angel by Jokum Karai. Compliments of Audio Library. Appreciate that so much. Us YouTubers, us YouTubers need all the help we can get. Okay, let's get busy here. I have a lot to do today. I have a little, have a painting workshop tomorrow. Let's see, I'm gonna cut, gonna cut the top out of a cup. I'm gonna want to cover the sides. Actually, let me go ahead and do that right now. Let me cut this top out. It's a 16 ounce cup. I'm not much in the measurement and all that yet. I'm new at this, just, for, just four months. But I did print the chart out that people are posting saying three ounces for, uh, I think it was a eight, uh, 10 by 10. I'm sorry, but I just like a lot more paint than that. Just gonna use this. Like a lot more paint than that because I like to be able, able to, I'm gonna go ahead and cover the sides on here. I like to be able to tilt my paint and get the kind of, get the design how I want it. And I don't want to always be stressed out that there's not enough paint and I can't pour this off because da 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 da, -da. You know how we do all that. So anyway, I like to just have enough paint. I heard somebody say the other day, the only wasted paint is paint that's in your drawer that never gets used. I kind of agree with that. Of course, there's a fine line between everything. You can go overboard on anything. We all know that. And I've also had a teacher one time that said that some of the ladies used to cut their tubes off somewhere to get all the paint out. That may be to the other extreme, but I've done that. And I will still do that if I'm in a pinch and I'm in a bind and I wanna get a particular color of paint out, get the very last drop. Some people would say the very last smidgen out, but that's what you do. You cut the end off and stick your paintbrush up in there. Okay, so here we go. I'm on a roll here. Got that all covered. I'm having a paint party uh, tomorrow. I don't think they've ever done the open top, cut the top out. I don't know what it's called. I'm just going to call it open top, dirty pour. So in the event that they haven't, I'm gonna do one. I just don't know what color to start with because these are tiger colors, these are LSU colors. So maybe I'll go up high. Don't ask me why I'm going up high. <laughs> it just sounded good. <laughs> Purple. I have white. I'm not gonna go into all what the colors are and how I have them mixed up right now. This is kind of like an experiment for the girls that will be in my workshop tomorrow. They've kind of forced this workshop thing upon me, but praise God, I'm just rising, rising to the occasion. Some lighter yellow here. Purple. Went 
Ellen Fry looking painter. Miss that. Everybody knows the LSU Tigers are purple and gold. And white. A little bit run out. Oh, it's running out on its own. Okay, girls, I hope y'all are watching this. This could what be what's happening to you tomorrow. Should I drag it? I hope you can see me. First time I have ever had a hair in my that I've seen, that I've noticed. It's a bit even. <laughs> I just love fall, I love fall. Got my house all decorated for fall. We went such a wreck in here getting ready for the party party. I'd show you my back porch. You know me, I'm a 14 year realism teacher. <laughs> I like to try to control it and make it do things I want it to do. So pretty. I have a new chart. I'm not gonna get into all the problems I've had, but if uh, I, that I win all the problems uh, recently for uh, the last two weeks, what all I've gone through and uh, the life of a poor painter, I bet I would win. But I'm on the path to a full recovery. Three torches, three torches in three days because they didn't work. First time I've ever heard of a torch not working. Okay, so let me torch with my new torch and see what happens. First time I'm using this torch. It's a little heavier than I'm accustomed to. I'll be very careful and try not, I'll, I might hold it with both hands. Use the skinny kind. to try to decide if that's, uh, the paint's too thick. I don't know what that means. Every time I pour a painting, I learn something from it. It's been an awesome experience. Pour painting. Okay, so um, I 
brought so many of my supplies over to where the workshop's gonna be. I was thinking there for a second, I didn't have any gloves. It's hot in here, I gotta cut the AC on. We've had such beautiful weather here. Uh, it's just been gorgeous. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Oh, I got the LSU shirt on. That was not planned. No, that was not planned. are not real big. I'm after big sales. I'm wanting some big sales. Some of those girls get such big sales. I've tried pouring mediums. Maybe I rush it too much. I'm gonna take the time. I have no negative patient. I sure wish I had some white mixed up. I would put some white in the corners. Kind of like one time I layered some white and some gold on the corners. try this. I have a container here. Uh, it was originally mixed up as 90% flow draw. 90% flow draw. I'm sorry, yeah, and 10% water. So I'm gonna, that's gonna be a little too thick to make sure to get the consistency right with the paints. So the next one I mix up, oops, I sure didn't mean to drop that water right there. The next one I mix up, I'll probably change the consistency a little bit. I probably uh, add a little more flow draw than a half, maybe 60, and maybe 40 water. I'll go ahead and add two more drops of silicone. color. It's a little too yellow there in the center. And this does not look like it was mixed up in the well. So much to learn to all this. Oh. The main thing I've had to learn is just to let go. Stop trying to be little Miss Control Freak and control everything.
messed it up. I hope not. I don't think you can mess it up. Beautiful purple and gold. Unless you're Tiger Town, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Go Tigers. I'll be having a paint party tomorrow. I'll be on the other side of town. I don't even know if the game is here or not. But if the game is here, I'll be gone. I won't have to worry about traffic. Unless it's a night game. So gorgeous. I don't know which way to go with it. It's like it's got big old caterpillars falling, crawling through. I'm going to turn it back around. I kind of like that black and white there on the end. It's pretty on the side. Gonna kind of touch that up. Give a shout out to Demi Moore. She's a survivor. Just say, and I believe in forgiveness and all that, but you know something? When you do wrong things to people, It normally comes out somehow or the other. And if you have done wrong things to people, go tell them you're sorry. I've got something I've been dealing with on that lately. Okay, I might make this a little swipe because that was a swipe I made. It's pretty. Kind of like tiger teeth or markings or something. It's really pretty. Let's see what it looks like down here. One more, one place right there that I didn't like. I don't like that. It's got a little piece of trash or something in it. How about the app today and get a trial of Music Premium on us? Restrictions apply. drama. I wonder if there's something I can blow on this. I'm sure there is. I should try it. Let me go get a straw. What could it possibly hurt? I'll be right back.
not making real pretty designs like I've seen them make. Let's see. Let's get some fun. Beautiful. Wow, it's so different. I love it, I love it. It's a purple right here. Awesome. Ah. Awesome. I don't like this roundness. I think I'll make a point. Oh my gosh, it looks like claws. Oh, wow. I know my students, I know what they like. They're gonna love this. They're really gonna love it. LSU fans. Uh, Anna has just had um, a son uh, graduate from LSU. Had an awesome experience with him on a trip to Sweden just recently where he was invited to go because of his research that he did on MS. Tomorrow, Carol Gray. <laughs> 